Welcome to the O'Clemens Video Studio, Dave Morris. Happy to be joined by my friend Malik Massad. Thank you. Good for to see me. you. Yeah. Thanks for having me. Ladies and gentlemen, the sharpest dressed man in the studio today also throws one of Oklahoma City's best Halloween parties. But we're actually <laughs> here to talk about the St. Elijah Food Festival, which is coming up this weekend, Friday and Saturday at St. Elijah Orthodox Church. Malik, it's good to see you. Thanks for having me. We're excited. How's the food festival going? A few days away. A few days away. It's crunch time. Uh, you know, this is this is the time where it all comes together and all the food is prepped and ready to go and then we make the fresh stuff day of the event that you get to come in and enjoy and it's, it's just a lot of fun. All right, before we get into the preparations, I understand that there's a lengthy period of time that you guys are working on this event. For people who haven't been, you're looking at some B-roll um, from previous year's food festival, what is the food festival on Friday and Saturday? So what can people expect? Oh, well, you know, we. We've been preparing for about three months now, and and you know all our all our parishioners come together and really just put the elbow grease on and you know get their hands dirty and here we go. Of course, we wear our wonderful hair nets and, and, <laughs> and do it in a fashionable way. Cleanliness is very important. Yes, absolutely. There. You know the health inspector would be very happy to see us. Uh, but I was talking with my co colleagues here. I was like, hey, it's a family-friendly event on Friday and Saturday. What can they expect? They can come in, come in, enjoy. Uh, our wonderful church. I mean, we have a wonderful facility. You can do tours of the church, get to see our iconography, which is, took about two years to do. Um, our church has been there for about 25 years now. It's unbelievable how time flies. But we do tours. We have a multicultural room where you can learn about orthodoxy all across the world. Excuse me, across the world, and then also enjoy our baked goods section, which are all you know homemade foods from all of our parishioners, and then of course the the fresh food that we serve. St. Elijah is located at 150th and North May, and Malik is right about that. It's a beautiful facility, uh, and, the, and the brief tours that you can take there, it's well worth your time before you step into the food hall to uh, mm -hmm. begin the consumption there. Uh, it's a fantastic place. Oh, yeah. I mean, once you step in the front door, you can start smelling everything that we've, we've been working on since, I mean, it opens at 10 o'clock in the morning, but we've been there since 5.30 in the morning, you know, getting things ready, the fresh bread cheese bread, the meat pies, the cabbage rolls, uh, and of course my favorite, uh, the Bukalewa Sunday, which is to die Ooh, for. That is good stuff. Um, you can't leave without getting your one of those in, in front of you. So, I mean, it's, it's a beautiful thing and something we're very happy about and we love to share, uh, just like our grandparents and great-grandparents before us. And only $5, the menu can be found online uh, of the things that you can eat at the food festival, but then also the things you can take away. Absolutely. Uh, just first of all, I'd like to make a point that there's no cover to get into this event. We love everybody to come in, and they come from all over the state and out of state. And uh, it's just a, it's just a, uh, we open up our doors and bring everybody in. But the baked goods section, uh, if you don't get there early, uh, there's not <laughs> there's not much left for Saturday. So uh, come early, come often. Uh, we've got plenty of food to share with everyone, and uh, if not, we'll run to the grocery store and pick up enough materials to make some more. So It is Friday and Saturday this week from 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. Now let's talk about that preparation. Months in the making, right? Months in the making, absolutely. Obviously, uh, we try to pick a good uh, you know, weekend to bring people in uh, so that the weather or football schedules don't play into uh, having people come out. Um, but it's a, it's it takes lots of preparation. There's we've gone from one chairman of the event to five this year because wow. it's grown so big. Um, we have about 7,000 to 7,500 people that visit this thing. So trying to logistically maneuver all these people in in and through. I mean, uh, we've gotten it down to where it's about a 10-minute wait from start to finish uh, to go get your food, order, sit down and start enjoying it. So we've really, we've really fine-tuned the process, so we hope everybody will really enjoy that uh, so they don't have to wait in line too long. Uh, and it's a nice, the dining hall, there's a good space for it as well. So there's a lot of room for people to uh, go through the line, order their food, sit down, and eat. And again, the, uh, the menu. <laughs> Ooh, what are some of the uh, perhaps things that people may not encounter on a regular basis that perhaps they should explore? Well, r real quick on the menu, we, uh, we did some analysis of what we did last year, and this year, um, instead of offering everything a la carte, we're offering a sampler platter, which includes the uh, cabbage rolls, the, the rosignachny, which is the meat with green beans in a, in a sauce over rice, um, as well as uh, hummus with pita bread and uh, salad, or salata. 
So that way for, for a good price, you can get a lot of value um, versus buying it all a la carte. Although we still have our meat pies and cheese pies that are to die for and fresh um, right out of the oven. Um, we are doing a different uh, uh, chicken sandwich this year, so that's exciting. We're kind of taking it old school again with our seasoning and the process and everything. So it'll be different this year. Uh, as well as uh, our kufta sandwich, which will be fresh right out of the meat grinder, basically. So it's, uh, it's we've really focused on taking it back to how our grandparents wanted to wanted to really open up this event to the public. So and this is an event that's been going on for for decades, right? Several decades since I think about the 50s. So it's pretty awesome. It is this weekend, Friday and Saturday, the St. Elijah Food Festival, located at 150th and North May, 10 a.m. to 8 p.m talking with Malik Massad. You work for Emerson's uh, Commercial Real Estate. I'll Correct. give you a chance. <laughs> Tell me about Emerson's. What do you do there? We are a, a brokerage fir firm with uh, property management as well as development uh, capabilities. And uh, we, are, we are a year out of the box and really starting to hit a pretty decent stride here in Oklahoma City, um, headquartered out of Dallas, Texas. So we've got uh, presence in about 27 states and uh, we're excited to be here. Did I read that you, you have your MBA, but then also your undergrad, though, is in animal biology? Is that somewhat close? Yes, uh, <laughs> zoology. I, zoology. I have a okay. degree, degree in zoology and uh, an MBA in finance, complete opposite ends of the spectrum. But, uh, you know, life decisions change your path and uh, happy to have made those decisions and uh, haven't regretted it one bit. Although I can tell you a lot about animals. <laughs> <laughs> You can also tell you a lot about throwing a really cool Halloween party. <laughs> St. Elijah Food Festival, boys and girls, is this Friday and Saturday, 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. There you see the information, 150th and North Bay. Malik, always good to catch up with you. Best of luck this weekend. Thank you so much. Can't wait to see you out there. And uh, everyone, come on out. We're going to have a great time.